The 23-kilometer lots 1E and 3 of the Abuja Light Rail project has since been completed but has remained non-functional owing to acts of vandalism carried out on some critical components of the system. The first official engagement outside the office by the 17th FCT Minister Nyes Sonwiki is to inspect this critical national asset with a view to reviving it for the immediate use of the public. I can assure the public this is one project we must take to logical uh, conclusion. It is not going to be a project we'll just abandon. Let's complete this before we go to Lot 1B. And I thought too, by when you started this project, you would have identified which areas are the most traffic areas. That's what is important. Most traffic areas. Where you talked about Yaya to come. You would have considered this. I don't believe in doing so the jobs in the city for elites. Yes, it will help for those going to the airport. So you have um, the traffic uh, decongestion, those going to the airport. But in future, let us consider which is most important for us now if we are trying to reduce the traffic area. One of the short-term uh, area that we need to have, we have a concern and we need to see we've done something on it is the transportation. As he had mentioned, Security is also a priority area. We're going to look at the sanitation of FCT and also transportation. And railway is one of the transportation systems that we have to look at. The FCT minister and minister of state, as well as other members of the entourage, later had a feed of the train ride from the metro to the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport train station. With the assurances given by the FCT Minister Yesen Wiki, is an indication that very soon residents of the territory will begin to enjoy eco-friendly transport system in the nation's capital city. From the metro station, Onoze Yaku, NT News.